Hey mountain bike enthusiasts, Rich here with Fanatic and today we are checking out the brand new Evil Offering. This bike uh, got some updates this year in 2020, just like the following and the Reckoning and it slots in right between the two. It's a 140 millimeter rear end bike and it can be run with either a 150 or a 160 fork up front. Uh, what updates did they give this bike? So first off we're starting at the back. We've got super boost spacing, just like they did with the following and the reckoning. They gave it that wider 157 super boost to give it a little added stiffness in that rear end, kind of give you confidence when you get in that chunkier terrain. Um, just like the following and the reckoning, they've got their sound mounds. So it's a rubberized uh, chainstay protector. It's got some little mounds in it. You don't think it's a big deal, but it really helps with chain slap, kind of quiets everything down really like cool fine details that evils kind of put into these bikes they've also added their uh, updated chain guide so with the advent of 1x12 drivetrains and narrow wide chain rings don't always need a chain guide but it's nice to have one theirs will work with a 30 tooth to a 36 tooth so if you got those big legs and powerful rider you can go with a 36 tooth or if you're a weak skinny little guy like me you can run a 32 tooth and be fine um, they've also updated the main pivot on these bikes. So that main pivot is going to be wider, got bigger bearings, bigger hardware. Again, added stiffness on these new bikes to really give you confidence when you get into rough, chunky terrain. As I mentioned, it's a 140 millimeter rear end. So running on uh, the Delta Link. So it's a modified single pivot essentially. So really fun, poppy characteristics out of this bike. They've also got their flip chip in there so you can run it in either the low or extra low settings just depending on kind of the geometry you want to run on this bike. Uh, we move forward they have extended the reach so they've added about 15 millimeters of reach and they've also steepened that seat tube angle so when you're climbing on really steep terrain you know you're nice and forward over the bottom bracket uh, helps you just kind of pedal up that stuff real easily, gets you in a comfortable pedaling position. And then that longer reach, uh, just more confidence on the descents, which is exactly what this bike likes to do. You can pedal it all day. Like I said, it slots between the following, which is their shorter travel bike, and the Reckoning, that's their longer travel bike. So this is kind of the, the one bike quiver. Uh, I really enjoy this bike. It pedals super efficiently with that single pivot. Um, it sucks up all the little bumps on the trail, but then super efficient going up. You don't notice any pedal bob. And then when you turn it downhill, that longer reach, super confidence inspiring. They've actually kept the head tube angle about the same as the old offering. Um, and that's because they don't think we need to be going to these extremes where you're super slack or super steep. It's just a nice 66 degrees in the low setting or a 65 degree in the extra low, which gives you plenty of confidence when you're, you're going down the hill. We've also got a 150 fork. That's what I'm riding it in. You can put a 160 fork on this. It's gonna slack out that front end a little bit and you know make it a more aggressive bike but i think for what this bike's intended for 150 140 is is pretty prime setup so just like with all of the new bikes uh evil's really paid attention to the details like i said the sound mounds uh the chain guide they've also got four cable ports at the front of this bike so it's all internally routed and there's tubes in there so it's super easy to feed things through you can run this bike moto style. It does have four uh, ports at the front of the bike. So depending on how you like your brake setup or how you like things, you kind of have uh, a lot of options, which is really cool because not everybody does the same thing. Um, I really like that internal routing. Uh, I did have to put a longer cable on this dropper and it took me like 20 minutes. I didn't have to fish any cables through. I just fed it through the hole, pops out of the seat tube, really convenient. So it's just these details. You can see they've kind of updated the tubing on it, giving it a really sleek, updated look. It's a sweet bike. It's a fun do-it-all machine. So what does this bike do better than the old offering? As I mentioned, one of the big things is they steepened this seat tube angle up by about a full degree. Um, the previous version of the offering, it was already a very steep seat tube angle to get you forward, get you in a comfortable pedaling position, get that weight out from over the rear wheel and more forward to keep that front wheel down on steeper climbs. But they steepened it up in a whole nother degree. It's even, even better at climbing. It's super efficient with the Delta Link and then that steep seat tube angle works awesome. And then when you move to the front of the bike, while they didn't slack out this, the head tube anymore, they kept that fairly normal. They did extend that reach. 
and that reach helps to make this bike way more confidence inspiring when you do point it downhill. This is a bike that you could do everything on. You could use it as your all day, you know, 20, 30 mile ride up and down the mountains, or you could even take this thing as kind of like a light duty park bike. You could ride something like the Reckoning, which is their longer travel bike at the bike park, really suck everything up. Or you could take something like this and still have a ton of fun. It is a lot more nimble than a long travel bike like the Reckoning. It's gonna, it's gonna be really confidence inspiring when you're in that tighter terrain. It's just super nimble, super agile, but then a longer reach. So it's confidence inspiring when you get it up to higher speeds. So really impressed with how this bike rides. It's just kind of a do it all, one, one hit wonder. So that's the new evil offering. We're gonna have these bikes loaded up in our custom bike builder on fanaticbike.com. And if you've got any questions about this bike or any of the evil bikes, give us a call or email us at sales at fanaticbike.com. We'll hope to see you soon.